Yeah, it's April. Okay. Hey guys, Crew Blowing back. I'm Aaron. I'm Calvin. Rick. And we are back with Barry. Where last time, Calvin? What? Happened. <laughs> yeah. What happened and what happened? Yeah. <laughs> it's true. Do you know that last episode, what'd you think of it? Ah, uh, I Did thought you... it was great. Yeah? Um, starting to see more of the, uh, the stuff with, um, I keep trying to call her Susan. It's not her name. Sally? Sally. Seeing some more of that stuff and, uh, Sam went... unfold. They went and had dinner with Sam. Mm-hmm. It was that kind of stuff for... And then the rage going to his hotel. She happened to be there. He pulled back just in time. <laughs> yeah, right? Dude, he, he looked like he almost sh was going to shoot her because she was, like, there in the way. Yeah. Yep. Like, oh, shit. Like, he stuck his muzzle in the door, and he was like... <laughs> no, there's some things that I like. I like. I like that Sally opened up to him and told him, like, hey, I never said this. I can't. This is a lie. Yeah. So I'm glad that, like, that also came out because I feel like it's the most honest she's been... Possibly with Barry ever, you know, like it's probably just, she usually doesn't seem to be very much of open and it's more of like whatever she can get out of it. Where that didn't feel like a moment where she was getting something out of it, it felt like just a moment of actual honesty. Yeah. yeah. So. so the flashback with Albert and like yeah, the f what sort of fucked him up? Yeah. yeah. To start with and telling Jean. Telling Jean. Telling Jean, and they had a, a bonding moment that was billable. <laughs> yes. Yes, it was. I love that. My my private hours are done by another loan out, so I'll just go get that ledger. I'll go get that ledger. And then Loach wants to make a deal. Loach is... Dude, that thing there. That was great, because I was like, wait a minute. He's saying, like, no, no, you've thought of everything. Like, there's nothing left to do. I was like, okay. He must have had a lot closer relationship with his partner... Than Dude, I thought because when, he's like he's gonna kill him when he was doing that I, I, I thought oh man he's just here not to arrest him he's gonna kill him mm -hmm. and get rid of the body yeah and he's like do you know what it's like to love someone and I was like man he really he's cared like, about her a lot a huh? like what's going on they, here they didn't have that relationship because he didn't he wasn't like emotionally upset when he found out about her and Gene he was so upset about his wife so yeah. it didn't make sense but that like my goodness not expecting that <laughs> so now it's like where do we go now yeah, I imagine he does it so he can get out of this predicament, right? Yeah, yeah. Let's find he out. says, "You do this, I make all this go away." Well, we need to make it like all this intro. <laughs> oh Holy my gosh! Shit. Taekwondo trophies are these. Good for you, man. I'm sure, they got Taekwondo in Chicago. So you go, "Whoa, look at that! You got medals too!" Shit. <laughs> wow. Trophies and medals, Taekwondo. Sweet. Wait. Oh, damn! <laughs> Did knock him out? Yeah, uh, hello? Oh, shit. He's gonna fight a Taekwondo guy now. Oh. <laughs> Not the chest. Jeez. Holy shit. That was good. Dude, how long has this one shot been going on? It's been a while, right? Since the back kick. Yeah. Well, if 
your dad. Good job, Barry. Damn. Oh no. Oh. Oh Dad? no. Fuck. Dad? She saw his face. Fuck. What? I should have thought he's gonna fight her. What? <laughs> she was wearing a gi. She was wearing a gi, yeah. Oh shit! She's like a little demon. She is. I thought you were a dog. <laughs> like a zombie, look at that jump! What? Get off me! Get off me! Get off me! Oh, what the hell? What the fuck? This firework is amazing! <laughs> I was not expecting it to go this way. Well, I mean, I did say you had to fight her now. Oh, shit. Sharing knife! Oh, shit! Oh. She's a white belt. His DNA everywhere. She goes down the swing or something. <laughs> she just okay. What the hell was that? I don't know. What the hell? What the hell? No. He's having a dream. Are these all the actors and all the soldiers? No. Okay. No, it's at the airport when they come home, right? There you go. Oh, there you are. Let's take a look. See what they did to you here. No! Oh, Jesus. Uh. What did he do, hit you with a fucking cleaver? It wasn't Ronnie. What do you mean, it wasn't Ronnie? <sighs> oh, it was his daughter. I didn't kill her. What? She attacked me and ran away. We gotta go kill her. <clears throat> What? Yeah, we gotta kill her right now. Wait, wait, we don't know how. how we no, gotta I fucking. Need that. She can identify you, fucker. You got her. You got smashed on her. It's a trash can. I'm gonna fuck her. You got her. I'm gonna go down and get the fuck. You're gonna get t -bow. Well, there's literally there's, her. There, there she is. You think she's gonna get hit by a car or something? I don't know. This is not what I was expecting to happen. It went right into this, and I was like, I don't know. Now what? Go get her, Barry. <laughs> I'm not killing a kid. She is. <laughs> Plus, I don't... I don't think she's of this world. He's like, slightly <laughs> like delirious. Pubes, don't go out there. Pubes, I got it. <laughs> I got it. I'm a nice guy, what? I get back in the car. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> You're fucking little Spider-Man. <laughs> okay, she's not human. That's what I said, man. She's something else. I don't That's know what. what. I told you, dude. What do you, what do you want to do then, huh? I mean, in an ideal world, we just burn down the house. Oh, I know. You know what? We, we had a skunk in the basement once. What we did was we took this fire extinguisher. What were we going to hit it? Obviously, they had something to do something to happen. It was nightmares. All right. That's good. All right. Buddy. Buddy, wake up. Wake up. Hey. She's still up there. <laughs> still up there? <laughs> what? She's still in the same position. Looks like a little gargoyle up there. I'll, t I'll take a look. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Okay. Just pull it up real slow. Real slow. Good job. Oh, 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 damn! Broke the stitches. Oh, what? I, I got something here to help. Oh, ah, ooh, what the good. hell? Hang on. I got something right here. Yep, yep, it's going to help you. It's going to feel really good. It's going to be a little fucking... cold, but there you go. Oh, oh ah! Yeah. What is that? Yeah, it's super glue. Super glue? Yeah, what? Yeah. Ah. Filling up the Liquid hole. Liquid stitches. Oh, it is. It's perfect. 
Oh shit, she's on the roof. It's her! <laughs> <laughs> it's like a horror movie now! <laughs> Oh shit! I didn't see anything fall off the roof. I didn't either. There had to be something there. Just get in the car. Oh Ooh. shit! Oh, oh shit! shit. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Kill her. Just take her off your face. <laughs> okay. Why? Because I super my hands. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> it's like a spider oh, on your shoe. Oh, oh shit! Jesus! It's a banshee. Run her over! I don't think she's a child anymore. It's okay. Joe, how do we get to this? I, I'm not sure. <laughs> no. No. What? 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 <laughs> Why didn't he go to the hospital? <laughs> Why didn't he call the police? What is happening? I'm the guy that was in your house. Oh. Come on, Come on man. Don't be an asshole. What am I going to fight you in the fucking store? <laughs> Relax. Hey, chill. Calm down. Hey, hey, come on, guys. Come on. Oh, shit. I'm guessing the lock, like Lock's right. Jenny's just having some trouble. I, I, I would guess. You're not, you're not at 100%. Seeing right? double. Your throat's broken, your stone. <laughs> you can't turn on the car. <laughs> you can't shift the gears. You can't do anything. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, shit! <laughs> the siren's coming on. Raise your hands! His face is missing. He's glued to the... He's stuck to the police car. Ronnie, listen, man. Oh, sh shit. Oh, you got to do it. Sir, drop your weapon! What are you doing? I said drop your weapon! Stop! Shit! I said stop! Shit, what the fuck are you doing? Lunch! Jesus! Oh my god, what is with these people? What are they made of? Damn! Lunch just went down like fucking <laughs> crazy. He went down so He's dead. What? Told you. He broke his neck on the way down? He kicked him so hard and he hit the ground so hard he died. Same, same thing from the airport. Yeah, same thing. The dream. Barry, what the fuck are you doing? Get in the car! Oh, maybe he's hallucinating. That's what he's doing. Shit, man, Already? what? What in the Look. fuck has happened? It's always this long, right? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Dude, this was a, such a crazy episode. It's one of the craziest things I've ever seen. It's, that family. It's like the end of a Tarantino movie. Yeah, it but, is. But mixed with The Exorcist. <laughs> what are you? <laughs> Dude, I want to know if that little girl is like in any kind of zombie movie or anything because that damn girl. It was amazing. Was just like. Perfect. Rah! She does all she did. She just <laughs> roared and growled, jumped on their car, and she probably them does. bit that guy in the face. She probably does oh. motion capture work she, for video games and stuff. She like bit Fuchs in the face, but just stayed there. Yeah, you she know? bit and hung on. She just stayed there. Like an alpha. <laughs> oh, I, I don't know what to say. Well, like, I didn't expect us to go right into the Ronnie thing. Initially, yeah. Right? But then I also did not expect... Superhuman... All of this. Yeah. 
Like, it's, it was so just chilled, right? And he's just like, uh-huh, uh-huh, all right. Can I get my bathroom? Okay. And then it's just like, bam! And then fight scene. I'm like, okay, there's a fight scene. I get this. Taekwondo, Barry's yeah. trying to struggle with him. All right. And I liked how it was like a little one-shot that they went back and forth with, even though you couldn't see parts of it here and there. I think most um, of it was because Barry, like David Hayter, would have to wear a mask so that they could replace him with a stunt double, guy. right? But, I mean, that stunt guy got the shit kicked out of him. Yeah. Or it looked like it did. Like, I mean, it was all real good. They were throwing each other around the room. You got you got a stunt guy, and you got a guy, probably another stunt guy, who's trained in martial arts. Yeah. And you just put a camera on him, and they just fuck each other up for five minutes straight. And he didn't even really have to act. No. You know, that guy was just kind of like, uh-huh, Chicago. Can I get oh. stuff from my bathroom? And then the rest of it was... <gasps> yeah. <gasps> Which, he did really good. Yeah. Of that, but dude, when I when they started the playing fucking that sound, wire work. when they started playing that sound in the damn convenience store, <laughs> I'm like, no <laughs> fucking way! Oh my gosh! All right, <laughs> it's like it turned into a whole different genre. It did. Like it became a horror movie. It did. I love you going out there and being like. Hey, little girl, you want some nuts? I got some corn nuts. And you just, she just gets up, <laughs> she gets takes up. off, just scales a tree, <laughs> jumps to the roof, and then stays there until nightfall. <laughs> Watch her. How did she make it from and the roof? To the car. To the car. How far of a jump Parked is that? Parked on the street. Like, that is such a far jump. I don't think there was one not ridiculous thing in this episode. <laughs> not <laughs> one. And then, like, the sewing was bad. Well, the sewing, like, but... Gluing his hands to the thing. Like, everything. Just like that guy in his trophy room. Like, there's so many trophies. Mm -hmm. There's so many medals. It's so ridiculous and over the top. And, like, from there, everything was so ridiculous and over the top. I everything. love when she escaped and she just, like, jumps over the fence. And then she gets, like, the bushes and she does, like, a spiraling flip <laughs> over yeah. it. She was, like, boing. <laughs> he just slathers Barry in the super glue and then he glues his hands to the steering wheel. It's so stupid. <laughs> it's such a stupid thing to do. But it was so like. <sighs> it's such a domino effect <laughs> of just stupid shit and mistakes and funny stuff. Dude, they're in the store and that one guy's like, sir, sir. And he's just like, good, and then throws him. And he's just like kicking him. He's stopping And that guy him. laid there the rest. He might be dead too. He just laid there the rest of the fight scene. I mean, he took more than Loach did. Loach took one hit, just turned around, bam. I'm like, dude, did he die? No, no, he didn't die. It's like, I didn't think he would have been dead for he's that. Dead, dude. He, I think he, he like spinning wheel kicked him so hard, it broke his neck, and then he yeah. fell on the ground. Yeah, I think so. Like, I don't so, know what else happened. Somehow Barry got out of this without killing anyone. Sure, because Ronnie died yeah. from the cops. Yep. Loach died from Ronnie. Yep. The little girl's still on the run. Never be seen even, again. I don't even know if she's a threat. I mean, she is a threat <laughs> to humanity. But I, <laughs> she is. But I don't know if she's a threat to Barry. All the she is gonna dissect her. I mean, she she like came home from karate class. She likes a daddy. Yeah. So like she's but interacted then, with other humans. But dude, I, I thought she escaped. And then when they, she saw him laying on the floor, she <laughs> snapped. But yeah, she they, just broke when and they turned into this monster. Panned around, and she's just like <laughs> on the floor. See her. Barry's like, I thought you were a little. I thought you were a dog. <laughs> See her crawling into the car. It's like, oh god. It's like the girl from the ring. He was grudge. Crazy. Yeah, this has been. Like, sometimes things happen in Barry, and I'm just like, I can't believe this is what's happening. I, I can't believe these are the outcomes. Like, this, he just I can't, can't believe this break. entire episode. But this whole episode was just <laughs> something. I don't even know what. I mean, sure. It was like Tarantino mixed with Japanese horror girl. Yeah. Ronnie. Like, this entire episode in a sh was Taylor driving across the, the runway with rock music blaring, charging <laughs> men with guts. How oh. ridiculous it was. Like, is this the show from now on? Or do we go back? Do, I think you, it has I think to we go back. off. I think we go back and you just have that one... Remember that one yeah. crazy episode? It's like, what the fuck happened? I don't know. And then it just stopped. <laughs> and, and like at the same time, what's the uh, what's the reasoning for the desert army, like, airport meetup kind of thing going on? Like, what are we supposed to be taking from that? 
Well, it's interesting because normally in his fantasies, it's always Sally. Yeah, but there's like a dream where he fell asleep and it's like... Well, it, it was like he's on the brink of death almost, you know, and I wonder if all those soldiers are soldiers who died and it's like the afterlife... I think it's too much. You think? I think it's too much. I think it's got to be more of like... I don't like, know why like, there's Pukes just, would be there if it were like a, a death thing. Yeah, I think it's more related to like when he comes back and who he has. And like you see all these other soldiers who are like... There's like wives and mothers and whatever, like happy to see them and giving them a hug. And then he comes back and all he has is Fuchs and Fuchs says nothing. And he's just like... Come on. That's work. Yeah. You know, like there's no like... Like whereas before we kind of was like, man, is there kind of like rebuilding a father-son relationship here between these two? Like, maybe it's, like, supposed to be pointing towards, like, we don't even have that. Like, there was not. He was not happy and, thank goodness, you're back. It's, like, good, you're here, we can work. And, like, he's just a tool. Yeah. Like. I mean, that's why he was so upset when he thought Barry was cutting him out. Sure. Well, last episode, it ended, and he's like, no, Barry, Barry, don't talk, don't talk. And it felt like, oh, man, I feel so bad for Fuchs because he was, like, trying to stop this from happening. But then here, it's like, did you kill him? Good. You didn't kill that fucking girl? Get back out there and kill her. Climb up on that roof and kill her. You, you gotta do this. You gotta do that, you know? Yeah. I'm gonna call Hank cut myself back in. Like, it was never about Barry, and it wasn't worried about him being stabbed and are you all right. It was about getting this job done, and it's about the job. Sure. It's about the money, too. Because he got real excited when he found out, like, oh, he's building an army, and he's and heroin. heroin. It's like, that's, that's big money. Yep. I can get on on that. Well, I figure the reason you have to go so crazy with the little girl is eventually, like, Barry has to kill her. And you have to make it okay for Barry to kill her and for people to still be able to, like, relate and be on board with Barry. Yeah, maybe. You like, know? he's like, Jesus, kill this zombie yeah. crazy child. This is not human. Fuchs is like, but she's not human. Yeah, because, like, you know, having a main character to kill a kid. Like, Dexter never killed a kid. You know, like, once you go to that point, it's really hard to get your audience to... Sure. When Barry's killing people who are bad, typically, or it's like, well, I have to kill this guy because I'm being forced to by these people. Yeah. Or there's something like that where it's, it's either more okay or out of his control. Like, even here, he's like, I don't want to kill you, Ronnie. I want to send you to Chicago. Stay there for a year, yada, yada. But, yeah, you have him kill a kid, and then it's like, well, now I can't relate to this character, or I can't. But if the kid is a monster. You make the kid a monster, we're like, <laughs> what are you supposed to do? Yeah. Ugh. That scene of Fuchs going ballistic and driving through the neighborhood. It's like, is that her? No, it's a trash can. <laughs> I mean, it would be crazy. That was ridiculous, too. I know. It would be crazy if this was like a shot of the dead scenario. And this was the start of the zombie apocalypse. Yeah, she's, she's literally person, yeah. Barry. Zero. Yeah. The movie, the show Barry is the yeah. start of the apocalypse. Yeah, like, it's just been a normal word, a normal word in, world until now. This, like, is a, this is the prequel to A Walking Dead. Uh, yeah, but like Fuchs she bit Fuchs, and now Fuchs one. is infected. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think that's the way it's going to go. It could be. That would be... I don't think that's the way it's going to go either. A bold move. That would be a drastic... At least with Shaun of the Dead. It's I, named Shaun of the Dead. I kinda, you kind of know what... I kind of hope where we're going, going next in, is it just kind of goes back to what it's been. We just have this one crazy... A ridiculous episode and everything just comes back down to normal and it's like what <laughs> but the what was, girl's still out there what was the that thing. yeah but no one's gonna believe her she's a crazy little <laughs> zombie child but like you never do you think she ever comes back I don't know maybe she broke her psyche broke seeing her dad dead and now this is what she is she just goes out and lives in the woods yeah I don't know eating rabbits whole <laughs> Just swallowing him. <laughs> she's, <just, laughs> she's in that white gi and just blood all over her mouth. Yeah. Like dripping down her. It's like, God. I did really like, uh, Calvin was saying about it too, but I really liked, like, as uh, Barry was walking to the car, the blood on his back was like, you could have just had it where, like, all right, let's make this look yeah. like it's bloody. But it was, it was getting really good. darker yeah, it started and expanding, spot you when know? When he first walked out, and then it just it just started slowly going down his back. And the wire work was good, too. It and like was. We, We'd never have wire work, you know? <laughs> Not in this, no. Yeah. But well, when that girl did that first jump, I'm like, jeez, all right, what is this? And then they did some more stuff, too, and then she scouted a tree and jumped well, to the car. And... Yeah, I was like, I was thinking, what's that girl going to do? And I was like, I would be afraid of that girl. But yeah, like, I'm done. Forget uh, it. That's it. I'm done. You I'm out of here. Yeah. I looked up the actress that plays uh, 
The little girl? The little girl. Is she in The Walking Dead? <laughs> She's not. Okay. She's credited in uh, Westworld for stunts and Annabelle. Oh, the the doll conjuring movie? Yeah. So she, about creation. So she's not even really she's an actor. She's, a, she's like a stunt person kind of thing? Stunt woman? I think so, yeah. Hmm, interesting. She must be a adult, right? I wonder if Ronnie then also was a stunt person, and that's why everything he did was just fighting and stuff, and it wasn't really acting. Probably. You know? Like, you do that where, like, all right, we need someone who can just do this. We don't need someone who can deliver lines great. Yeah. They just have to go, like, uh... Well, we don't need someone to emote. Yeah. I thought they, like... No, it's okay, man. Your 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 stuff's broken. You're stoned. Because <laughs> like as soon as he came home, he was he already like you said he came back wearing pajama bottoms with a six pack. Yeah. In the morning, then he lit one up real quick, and then he's just like, "All right, who is yeah. this guy? What's going on?" So <sighs> this might be the craziest episode I think we've had of Barry. I think it's the craziest episode I've ever seen in anything, almost. As far as changing and stuff like yeah, that? Yeah, because, like, I've seen crazier stuff in, like, Doom Patrol. Yeah, but you you're know? expecting it to be yeah. crazy in that, right? Where this has been a little bit more grounded with some just ridiculous comedic moments, and then this is just kind of almost like just, what the hell happened? It's like once upon a time in Hollywood. It, it kind of did. Where it's just like, okay, this is just, okay, what the fuck? But, but we've got to go on from here. Yeah. We're not <laughs> ending yet. Yeah, that's the craziest part of it. Yeah, I don't know how... You have an end to an episode, like an entire, like you said, just just an entire movie of just crazy shit happening, and then go back to normal. I can't believe Ronnie was still alive in that damn in the, I, in the pharmacy. Uh, I can't. That's. Uh, I have so many questions. Like, why didn't he go to the hospital? And then I'm like, why didn't he call the police? Why wasn't he concerned about his daughter? You know. I, don't, I maybe, mean, maybe, she can fend for herself. Maybe That's was. true. Maybe he doesn't need Maybe to he's trying to get away from the daughter. <laughs> 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 uh, How did Loach even find them or show up? <clears throat> Police scanner stuff, maybe? I don't know. Maybe. Maybe he started looking for them when he called and he didn't get an answer from Barry before. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, he did say that he was still out there in a car. Maybe he watched him I mean, there leave were... with... With Fuchs. And they were there for him. hours. They were all day? Yeah, the, they arrived at the house in the morning, yeah. and they left at night. Yeah. It was a whole day. It was a whole searching day. Searching for this damn little kid and trying to kill this one guy. Well, he wasn't trying to kill. He was trying to send him to Chicago. And, and Barry was bleeding all day, pretty much. Yeah. Because Fuchs is shit. Thank God for super glue. Guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed what this was, whatever it was... Make sure you subscribe, because we're going to see what's next in Barry, and uh, I believe the rest of Season 2 is available, so make sure you guys check that out uh, over at patreon.com slash blindway, and you can get early access down there. So, check that out, and if, if there was a lot in this, full link, all right here, over at Patreon as well. It's, yeah. This is how I fought after Redline. <laughs> <laughs>